Okay, starting off with Android and Android emulator. So if you're choosing for this example, I will be using Windows subsystem Android, but you can use BlueStack, Sonox, or whatever. It should work. The first thing you will need is the APK for Dragalia, or if you already have it installed, um, you're good. But you need to install the original Dragalia laws on your device. Um, I cannot give out the APK, but you can easily find it. Looking it up. And moving on. When it comes to the Dragalia patch GitHub, download the Dragalia patch APK. All right, now we will open up Dragalia patch and we will put in the server link or whatever, Dawn Shard, Okiris, or whatever feature ones arise. Put it over here and for Dawn Shard, um, it doesn't work, you can put in um this this link right here and i'm gonna patch the app oh, okay and we will wait for it to be done All right, now we're going to press install. Good. Bit loud. Um, there you go. Okay, we are reloading. Cuz I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to leave it off here because my emulator is bugging right now. But it'll ask you to log in, and you just log in, then boom, you're, you're in the private servers, and there you go. This is how you install Dragalia Lost private servers on Android or Android Laters. Alright, we are actually bad people. I reinstalled it, and now it's working. And uh, link account. Gonna connect you. Nintendo login. Gonna log into the base. Bass. Bay bass. 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 I'm gonna log in. Um I'm gonna link account. Open All right. Yeah. No end of service screen, as you can see. And now, and download all. No, no. All right. I'm popping in here to. I didn't really show it, but I did switch to Okara's and. You saw the network error. That was because I did not need to put in the CDN as of right now. In the future, you may need to. All right, now we are doing the iOS part of how you install the private servers. So you are going to need a computer for this, unfortunately, compared to Android, which you can just do everything on your phone. So, get your computer ready for these um, next few steps. But first, we'll be starting on your iOS device right now. And we're going to go to Privacy and Security. And we're going to scroll down all the way down to Developer Mode and turn that on. I think it will tell you that you have to start your device and do whatever it tells you. It's not going to be that hard. And... Yes, and now 
we are gonna hop over to the computer. All right, now we're gonna download the Turkey Plus IPA file, iTunes, iCloud, and a side loading application of your choice. And the one that I will leave in the description is Sideloadly. That's what I use most of the time. I use some other applications for or or some extra functionality but you do not need this for this and after you download the itunes and icloud you're going to want to sign into your apple account and just sign in we're going to open up sidely now and should plug in your device to your computer or you can do it wires wirelessly but if your device appears, it appears right there. And so make sure your device is connected. It will say it right there where it is currently blurred out on the top, right next to the coffee button right there in the first text box. If it doesn't have your device name, you're doing something wrong. You're just doing something wrong. And you can join the Discord if you need some assistance if you're doing anything incorrect and so now we're gonna press start now we're gonna press start and we're gonna start by password Um, by the way, we're only doing the password because I haven't logged in in a long time, so that, that is why. And now we should be logged in, and it should start. You probably won't have to do this, but you know, if you're trying to get back into the private servers and you haven't done this in a while you probably have to do that you know i'm trying to put all the flaws that i'm going through in here so you know if you're struggling the same as me you understand why and how i'm troubleshooting through everything so so it can be as friendly as possible you see my mistakes so you don't have to do it. I mean, yeah. Verifying and boom. All right, now we are done with everything on the computer. Now we are done. You can turn off your computer, put it away. All right, now back to your iOS device. Um should have Dragala downloaded now. You can go into your settings. We're gonna go to general and we're gonna go all the way down to the VPN device management. And you're going to see your email and you're gonna press that. You're gonna press trust. Trust and boom. You should be able to open up the app now because do not do this. You will not be able to open it at all. Uh, this is a, oh, okay. Okay, I was worried this wouldn't appear well on the video, okay, but it does. All right, Dragalia, um, in here, I'm gonna press, um, link account, yep, I'm gonna log in, 
up. And now we can start downloading the game. As you can see, I'm... Wait, wait. I completely forgot about this. So, um, you're gonna wanna go down to Dragalia, your settings, and you're gonna wanna put down the server that you're wanting to play on right here. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. I almost forgot to include this. All right, this is the end of the video and I just want to say, um, I believe the Okyrus server is going to do a server reset, and so if you have any save files right now, um, I recommend you, 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 down, you, you download it, download your save. This pretty much covers it all. If you if you would like to see a video on World Flipper private servers, um, which I don't think there is any um private servers that are hosted by other people, but you can host your own server if you want to. Um, you can host your own private server, so you can play World Flipper, make any edits you want. Do all that crazy stuff if you wish to. And so, yeah. This was Skalix. And.